Hi, welcome to How to Meditate with Sound. I am your mind and body mentor, Sifu David. So let's get started with this lesson. The Hindus call it mantra. It's a way of using chants and your voice and tones and even certain words in order to enhance your awareness using sound and your voice. One way of using sound for health purposes is to use your voice to vibrate certain parts of your body, for example, your organs and your glands, to activate it and to detoxify them. So the purpose of it is just to use your voice in order to vibrate a certain part of your body. So if you just follow me, you just go like this, oh, oh, try and make it very low and go, oh, 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 like an ape. Try to feel where is that vibrating in your body? Oh, 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 oh. You probably feel it vibrating in your gut area. So now if you go like this, make a tight circle with your lips. Now if you go like this, and raise your eyebrows while you do it. Where do you feel the vibration? With such a high pitch, you start feeling the vibration in your head. So just by just changing the tone and the shape of your mouth, you're able to change where the actual sound vibrates to your body. So using this principle, there's a method with Taoist meditation or Taoist Qigong that helps you to increase your health and increase your vitality. It's called the six healing sounds and each sound correlates to a different organ. Starting with your lungs, then your kidneys, then your gallbladder, and then your heart, and then your stomach or spleen, and then your triple warmer. So let's go through each one of these. First one is your lung, and the sound for that is So you're just putting your teeth together and then making this sound. One way to do it to enhance the effectiveness is to raise your arm up so that you stretch and open up your lungs, and then do the same thing. Look up and go like that. And you can do that 10 times or so. And what that does is it activates your lungs. And what you want to do that also helps is to imagine while you're breathing out all the negative energy breathing out uh, when you're doing that from your lungs. Okay, so you just look up, put your hands up in the air, look up and go. Like that. Another thing you can do is maybe you can tap on your lungs. So you do that, imagine all the toxins, all the stress coming out of that part of your body. The next one is your kidneys. So if you don't know where your kidneys are, if you feel the ticklish part of your ribs here, just move it to the back. The soft part, that's where your kidneys are. So the sound for the kidneys is choo, choo, like that, like a choo-choo train. And how you do that is you want to, you can either touch your kidneys in the back and go, Choo, or you can bend forward, so you can do this. Choo, bend downwards like this. Choo, and what tone do you do? Is it gonna be high choo or choo or low? Just feel it. Go from high to low. Choo, and find the tone that vibrates that part of your body the most, and the one that does the most, that is the tone you want to use. So I go, choo. So around there, that makes the most vibration for me. So that is the one I'm going to use, and I would use that and do that about 10 times. So that's for your kidneys. The so next one is your gallbladder, and your gallbladder is on the right side of your body here. So you're right underneath your ribs, and you push in here. On your right side is your gallbladder. And the sound for gallbladder is shh, like that. Okay, so one thing you do is just go press onto it, and then put both hands on it and go, like that. Or you can bend over forwards like this. Try to depress that part of your body. Go. Do that a few times. So whenever you're breathing out, you're imagining that there's bad energy or tired energy, or negative energy going out of that part of your body, out through your, uh, out through your mouth, and breathing it out. Okay. So the next one after that is heart. And your heart is obviously here, it's on the left side of your chest here. 
and um, the, the sound for that is ha like that. And if you do it properly, you can feel your chest vibrate, and that's what you want. So you go ha h a w ha. One way you can do it is you just just hold it here and go ha. What I like to do is massage it. Ha. So find the tone that vibrates that part of your body the most. And that's very relaxing. Okay, so that's very good. Good for stress, good for stress relief. Um, and that's very helpful. So the next part is your stomach or your pancreas, which is about the same area. So it's about here, a bit more on the left side of your body. So what you can do is just put your hand there and go. Okay, so find that tone that vibrates that the most, and you can squeeze it and do a crunch. You can be sitting on a chair, you can be standing up, and just do that, and just do that sound for a few times. So the sticks healing sound is called the triple warmer. And what the triple warmer is, if you look at the meridian charts, on the acupuncture chart, you can see that the triple warmer goes behind the head, behind the ears, and then down the side of your neck, down the shoulders, and into the hands, down the arms, like that. Okay, and then triple warmer is also um, interpreted as the, um, the lower part, the middle part, and the upper part of your body. So what it is is you want to just use the uh, word he he for the triple warmer. And what I like to do is to um, is to practice having the energy moving down this, the back of my neck, down my shoulders, into my hands whenever I do when I go from high to a low tone. So those are some six healing sounds that you can use in order to activate and detoxify your organs in your body, help you to release stress, help you to increase the vibration of your entire body. So you have more energy and more vitality. So in this video, we talked about how to use sounds to improve healing and improve your health in your body. In the next lesson, I'm going to talk about how to use sound in order to increase your awareness and increase your spiritual resonance. So stay tuned and we'll show you that in the next lesson. Oh yeah, if you like this video, if you have questions or you want to add some more things into the comment section that help other viewers in this channel, then go ahead and do that. Make sure you like and share this with your friends, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you get all the new latest lessons. And this is Sigu David, your mind and body mentor. We'll see you soon. And yes, we're giving away these free DVDs, Ancient Qigong Secrets for Mind and Body. All you need to do to enter the contest is to subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell to get notifications of all the new lessons, and comment in the comment section and like this video and you'll be entered into the draw. Every week we're giving away a free DVD, so good luck.